evening. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you pop on this live and you can hear me, just go ahead and give me a like or a wave or shake. Um, tonight we're talking about incisions, right? This is for patients, caregivers that are sent home with an incision um, and you're pretty much caring for it on your own. You were probably given a list of things to look out for and you're just kind of trying to figure it out and hope for the best. So if you have ever seen a wound bust open, I want you to let me know, give me a shout out, please comment pop below if this has happened to you. I know as a therapist, it's one of the things we're really afraid of doing to someone and having happen in our care. So this is like a therapist's worst nightmare. And if you've got a wound at home, I'm sure that's like what you're worried about too, but I have seen a few. So this is all about what to do if it opens. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. So if anyone hops on here, just let me know you can hear me. And if you've had an incision and it's busted open, both busted open on you, go ahead and comment pop below. So it can be as simple as a stitch popping open or something super major like an infection brewing. So how do you know what you're dealing with if you're sitting at home? So if it's busted open, you probably did something and you know that it happened, right? You coughed, you sneezed, you fell down a bunch of stairs and when you got up, your stitches were open that will likely have like clear fluid coming out of it, maybe a little bloody if it was traumatic, but the tissue should look healthy, like pink, um, vibrant, like steak. The fluid will be clear or bloody just from like the stitch popping. But other than that, it should look pretty good. So if that was me, what would I do? I would um, take a picture of it just so you could see what it looked like in case your doctor asked for it. Um, and then I would call my surgeon and let him know what happened. And I would give it a good thorough cleaning. So before you had the surgery, they gave you some antimicrobial cleanser. I would make sure to flush that out really, really good, use water, just clean it really good and see. Like what, assess the damage, right? Is it one stitch that popped out? Is this this itty bitty little hole? Or did you just pop the wide thing wide open? So if it's just a little bit, I would let your doctor know for sure, but you can probably, you'll probably be okay. You can use something like um, Steri strips if you have them. What you wanna do is try and get that skin to get back together. So, you know, you're trying to line those, line those edges up as, and get it as tight as possible. And then you're putting tape or steri strips across it. So you might need another person to help hold them. And that's if you, you know, busted out one stitch and the doc says, oh, you'll be fine. Um, so you need to be careful if that's something that happens, if you just kind of manage it on your own at home, you wanna be keeping an eye out for abscess formation. So an abscess forms like underneath the surface of the skin if you didn't get that thing completely closed. Like your goal would be to take that whole incision that popped open and get it to like be completely closed. That's the goal. But if you've got like a hole on one end, and then you've kind of created a pocket, you can collect pus and stuff in there. And so that would need to be opened up and drained again. So you, of course you don't want that to be the situation for you. So get a good seal if you can and keep in mind that you're looking for signs of infection, which are, is it warm, is it hot, is it red, is it painful, is it draining, all those kinds of things. Think of Dr. Pimple Popper, right? A lot of those are abscesses and things like that. You, They need to be taken care of. So don't, let it get that bad. If you know something is wrong, then you need to get it taken care of. You need to get into the doctor. So if sometimes with an incision comes open, they decide not to stitch it back up. And so they'll tell you to start covering it. Um, anytime there's any depth to a wound, so it's not, you know, even there's a little crater or a tunnel that needs to be packed. So 
you need to fill that dead space. It helps things heal faster. It prevents abscess formation. Those are all super important. So the thing with packing a wound is, um, I'm not using dressings here. I'm using what was on my desk. So <laughs> you, when you're packing a wound, you don't want to like jam stuff in there just because it came in the container. You don't want to like jam it all in there and it's busted. That creates a problem with blood flow and that can create a bigger problem. So don't do that to the wound. When you're packing a wound, you're just kind of laying it in there gentle and leaving like a tail out, like a wick. Where are you? Okay, so it's nice. There's some air in here. It's not totally jammed up tight. So when you're packing a wound, don't jam stuff in there. That's... Um,